folks. Happy day one of this very random reading vlog. I am starting it in the doctor's office with this little booger butt. Do you hate booger butt? She hate booger butt. Is that the baby? Yeah. But, uh, so I've started A Thug Needs Love Too by Be Love, and I've also started The Healing and the Librarian by Evan Laporte. So, summary of A Thug Needs Love by Be Love. What are you doing? We have Phantom, who is a part of the Creole Mafia. A, the brother of the Creole Mafia dies, and they're trying to find somebody to replace him. They think Phantom is a good pick, but he does not have any family. He has no wife. He has none of it. And you know, the Mafia's all about family, blah, blah, blah. So he's trying to marry the daughter, I think the middle daughter, the Monica, but she's not built for it or whatever. Um, and they're trying to put the daughter that's right on her so they can get married. And it's an arranged marriage and a murder and all of that. Mafia. So, so far. I'm liking it. I'm loving this way that the, the voices, I'm, I'm loving the voice that has been, that has been written in. It is telling me the story. It's not really me being there or me being the characters. It is basically telling me the story of what happened. Um, I do like Phantom. Our girl, Demonica, seems a bit generic, as well as how they have to marry each other, it, you know, it's, that happens a lot. Also, we've met our baddie in the very beginning. I don't think it's a spoiler, but it was very given. You know what I'm saying? The fact that her brother was murdered comes up, and then, boom, we know who did it. It was also very predictable. But, we have finally got Demonica and Phantom together. He saved her, of course. And we're going to see how it's going to go. Um, I'm going to keep high hopes of a four star for this one. It could possibly be a five, possibly lower than a four. But we'll see. Moving on, I am about 10 15% of the way through The Hidden Librarian by Edwin Fort. And The Librarian and the Hidden is about. A man female character, she's a bit little prudish, she wears a slip, hang out with old people, and our main MC, who is a killer, cohorted killer, who has a restaurant in her neighborhood, and she's trying to get a booty, and he likes her, and, but he can't get distracted, so we're going to see how this is going to go, I enjoy the opening, the dialogue is very natural, I really, it really pulled me in at the beginning, um, from the synopsis, you would never think that she is the other woman. Hopefully, this is not a spoiler. It's on the first one or two pages. But she was the other woman. No, the man is married. And the why isn't quite good enough for me either. Um, I thought she was better than this, but I guess not. And then, my real issue with the first chapter. I've been really bad about the first chapter. The first chapter is extremely long. For no reason. I found a great stopping point for where chapter one should break off and chapter two should begin. And I'm still reading. Why? Other than that, I'm digging it. Um, I guess I should finish this chapter because it's long as fuck. But here we go. Yeah. Okay, y'all. Happy day two. I am back with more thoughts and information on both the Beloves, A Thug in Need of Love, The Heathen and The Librarian. So, first off, A Thug Need of Love. Okay. So, it is not a slow burn whatsoever. If you're looking for a slow walk, this ain't it. It is very instant love. We've known each other for years. We instantly in love. And the first 16, I must say, it was very beautiful. I give it an 8 out of 10. Um, I do wish I could have had more from Demonica, but it was out. It was from Phantom's um, POV, and I'm okay with that. Also, I have an issue with his issue, I think it is, because, like I said, we've done it and all of that, but now it's coming down to make a decision, and you acting like you can't pick her. 
And it's not like you don't like her because y'all didn't already did the do. You do like her. And I do really enjoy the way that the author makes it seem like this man has been pining for this woman for all of these years. You know what I'm saying? So you like her. You've been liking her forever. And it's not like she's not a part of the family, I believe, because she was born into this. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not understanding his internal conflict or what his issue is in the middle of the book. But he needs to get it together because I'm not understanding. Now, let's bring it on to Edwina's Fort Heathen and the Librarian. <laughs> Alright, so The Librarian and the Heathen by Edwina Fort. Um, I'm about 20% of the way through this one. And we have got a bit of our boy Power, who is our main male character. The baby finna cry, but we finna get out. Um, and I think I like, our, I, I think it's cute. Our main P female POV, her thoughts on our male POV are very cute and naive and I think I enjoy that he we only got a glimpse of him but I don't really see it for him I don't see anything I don't feel anything besides the fact that he does curse a lot and it probably wouldn't be an issue for me if it wasn't censored the way it is because this is censored um and I did say last time when I came out here and talked about this that I did have an issue with her being okay with being the side chick, but the way that the author has written it, I see where it's coming from. She is very lonely. She is described like most female writers are just, or readers, excuse me, are described. And I do see where she's coming from. She just wants somebody, and I understand that, but this man is married. You can do better. Um, I'm finna get the car, this is more reading, get this baby, and I'll be back. All right, folks, real quick. Same day, this is a little darker. Um, but again, real quick, I do have some a few thoughts on B loves a thug and need love uh, a need a thug and need to love. I ain't too too much further, but um, like I said, this internal conflict is really killing me. She's on some bullshit because she keeps telling us how her life's been affected by it, even though she's not married into it. Bitch, you are born into it. And people gonna die. People gonna kill people. It's gonna keep happening. And go obey your lawyer, but you're still going to be a part of the family. And this nigga is nonsense about not wanting to pull her into it. Bitch, what? You want him to leave the family so he can still be a part of the family, but not in the business? How he going to work? <sighs> I'm hoping it's a week away. It gives us a little more clarity because this midlife crisis, mid-book thing is really pissing me off. I need them to put that shit together. Like, this love crisis in the middle of their love, of this deep love uh, story is really ticking the girl off. And it's really bothering me. So, hopefully, you can pull it together and make it make sense. What is up, folks? I am back. I have, the whole family actually has been down with the flu for quite a while. And, but this is day three of this reading vlog. Y'all know how long I've been gone. Let's pick up where we left off. So. During my downtime, I actually have finished A Thug and Eat of Love, I Be Love, and I gave it three stars. Let's get nonsense. This was pure fucking nonsense. You work at the, in the mafia. You find a girl whose family is the mafia. You leave the mafia, but said girl. Said girl says she's going to leave her family. Said girl comes back to the family until now you're brought back into the family. But you're not doing what you want to do. Stupid shit. I digress. Um, I have uh, read a little bit more of The Hidden and the Librarian. The Librarian is definitely pissing me off. She is like, oh, I'm so innocent. I'm so this. These people are hoodlums. And bitch, please, you know this fucking you always in bullshit. You ain't innocent. I am liking Power's Men. And I am liking the voice this book is taking on. It is very, sit down and let me tell you a story of the way of uh, experience in my life. Now, I'm liking that. Also, we've taken it back from the end to the beginning or the middle to the beginning. Which I'm enjoying and I'm very excited for what, next, what is to come next. But yeah, I'm hoping it picks up and gets a little better. So, let's go. What is up? What is good? Back in the car for day four of this random reading vlog. Quick update. So, I have finished 
the second book of this vlog, which was The he Library and the Heathen by the Queen of Wiener Fort. Y'all know how much I love sis. I'm currently going through her backlog, so if y'all see something for February, know it. But anywho, I had to give this one three and a half stars because, slow it down, because the female protagonist, a female POV, not my cup of tea, power, a male, male, a main male POV, everything. That man was everything. He could be my book bait any day, okay? Everything. I really enjoyed reading his parts, but not so much hers, and you know, it's a book thing, so I took points away from that. And then the editing was so off. Whoever is editing was editing this didn't do the job. Okay, they didn't understand the assignment because it is missing letters, missing words, the censoring with the stars and the bleeps is really bothering me. And I feel like that is all in editing, but the way it was written, of course, was perfect because it is a Mrs. Ford's. Okay, um. And that ending, I know this is just season one of a, you know, whatever. But baby, that cliffhanger really upset your girl. Like, we ain't even together. You know what I'm saying? So, three and a half stars. Now let's go on to the third book of this vlog, which is Cash, Chaos, and shit. Okay, I got it. Cash, Chaos, and Carnage by the author Wintertime. Now this is starting off with a bang. We have met our, <coughs> <coughs> oh girl, excuse me, we have met one of the sisters, she is the oldest, and we we realize and understand what made her, what caused her to be this way, and I must say, it is the perfect start of an origin story, so we have the beginning, and now I'm officially into chapter one, and I am so excited. And, of course, after this, we have Hitters 3 by Lou Garden Price Jr. So, stay tuned. Okay, okay. Happy day, family. Day 5, freaking 5 of this week of random, this week, this random reading vlog week it is turning into. And I have started Cash, Chaos, and... What is the last word? Cash, chaos, and... Fuck. Okay. Cash, chaos, and carnage by the author Winter Time. I'm loving it. Feeling like a five star. I'm about 30% of the way through this book. Now, it's about three sisters, the chaos sisters. And they are a... They are like three legal people but they are also illegal because they run their own crime syndicates okay it's bad bitch territory now okay hopefully the past won't catch us up and these relationships was won't burn us down because we're just gonna move to make anyway so i'm loving it again i don't know if i said this but it's been like an origin like i already read the origin story now we with cash and I'm in love with the way they brought Khalil in. The writing is great. Khalil is so sexy. I'm absolute love with him. Like, he just gives me romantic butterflies and warm feelings, okay? But, but, I do have a prediction that Khalil won't stay with us the whole book. Unless it's like a book two or something. Because I feel like either he's going to die, disappear, or he's going to turn to the other side like the snakes um yeah so i don't know but i do love khalil i really hope that he sticks around uh we have secrets coming out well popping up and i am pretty sure that this is secret baby territory but i'll wait and see i know that's one of my favorite tropes anywho um yeah i'm feeling it i'm in love with it i know cash i don't know none of the other sisters yet but uh i love cash she needs to keep her coochie in her pants but bitch i feel you okay anywho yeah let me get back to reading i'll see y'all in the house okay folks i'm back i am tired as you can see from my face but before i take this shower and go to bed i must update you all okay 
Cash, Chaos, and Carnage. I got it right this time. By the other one this time, I gave this four and a half stars. Now, I gave four and a half stars because it was a bit rushed. Mm -hmm. And I still feel like that that there's more to tell to the story, okay? Um, but other than that, it was great. From beginning to end, I loved it. But again, it was very rushed. Um, I felt like this was mainly Cashel's story as well. Um, honestly, I feel like this could all have been told through Cashel's POV, except for Khalil's parts. Like the other sisters, she was there. Anyway, you could just told us what's going on through her parts, but I also understand why uh, the author went to time gave us insight to Nichelle and Tashel because they had feelings about what was going on. But I still feel like those who need their own books and with the, the end at the end, maybe they will still have their own books. Maybe this will still be a series, but I'm not seeing it. Um, I'm very happy with the outcome of the book. And yeah. Now, I gave this book four stars, of course, because I really enjoyed it, because I enjoyed the characters, because I enjoyed what it was about. But I must say, this book brought you a lot of a slump, okay? I was in a major slump. I thought I had my son, but I did read the rest of Chaos, Cash, Chaos, and Carnage by the other one's time in one sitting. And I have got 50%, chapter 15 of 36, through Hit Us 3 by Lou Gordon Price Jr. Senior, excuse me. And let's talk about that. <clears throat> so, you don't really have to read the previous books if you have read them, you know, previously enough. I, it's been about a year or so since I've read book one and two, but I'm still caught up. If you guys do not know, Hit Us 3 is, can give you guys too much in reference because spoilers, but Joker and his crew, or have been commissioned to basically kill the mafia, take out the cartel, and they will be able to be on top. Um, he has the EIE crew. Now, I have started reading it, and so far, I'm loving it. The dialogue, the writing is great. Um, I do have my predictions. It is kind of thrilling. So let's get into the predictions section. First off, they are talking way too much to outsiders. This outside Daisy bitch is not it. I don't really trust Ghost Man. Now, you don't know what I'm talking about. I just read it. Y'all read the previous two and are reading the third one now, but I don't really trust Ghost Man. The Daisy bitch is dangerous. And La Colombiana, I feel like she's a traitor. Hopefully, none of the lives are traitors, but at this moment in time, I'm not trusting nobody but Joker, even though I do feel like he may or may not turn on his team, even though he is a main character, and he is that dude. Um, also, there was, um, we've had our main big bad from the beginning of this book. <laughs> and chapter 13 or 14, we got them. Again, it's 36 chapters in this book. Now, the way the ID happened, in order to get the big bad, I feel like it's incorrect ID. Because, spoiler alert, dude gets shot if he's IDing the bad guy. Okay, so if you're shot and you're taking quick glance, you don't really know who you're looking at. So, I don't think our bad guy's dead. I don't trust Daisy. I don't trust Ghostman. And shit is going down. I'm very excited. This may be our five-star read of the vlog, but we'll see. I will most likely either talk to y'all. I will talk to y'all either when I got the shower before I go to bed or tomorrow, most likely. But we go down to our last book of this weekly read, random reading vlog. Thank you all so much for sticking in there. This is going to be a long one. Let go. Happy day, whatever family of this random reading vlog. Um, officially over halfway through Hit Us 3 by the Gordon Price Jr. And there's definitely a lot going on. Uh, it's moving a little slower than the beginning half, I must say. 
but it's got some trick it's tricksters out here, okay? That bitch Daisy and Ghostman. I mean not as much not so much Ghostman. I I honestly feel like he's manipulate being manipulated by Daisy, but I also feel like he's manipulating the situation at the same time. So both of them MFs are on my list. We got um a couple of wives out here looking sus. And speaking of which, I can understand why. You got thirteen females. Yes, you got all thirteen of them pregnant at the same time. But obviously some are getting more attention than others. So why do you have thirteen? You know what I'm saying? I don't understand that. Also, I got a feeling that I mean I know it's the book four of this, but for some reason I have a feeling that uh Joker might, you know, dip and run and take a few select people with him because of the situation that's going on right now. And then I also feel like the mob, the mafia, the cartel, whoever we are working for may turn on us. So, it's again a lot going on. I'm going to be finishing this before I see you guys next. So, yeah. On my way to dance class, drop off the girl, and I should see you guys later. So, I am back, and I have finished Hitters 3 by Lou Gordon Price Jr., and I give this five stars. Now, I said it did, it did move a little slow towards the middle, but the ending made up for it totally, even though the cliffhanger, I'm not really a cliffhanger girl, as y'all know, but it, it was decent. Most of my predictions did come true, but... I thought it was going to be a lot more action, should I say. I mean, it was hot, don't get me wrong. The whole climax of the, the ending was amazing. But it was not as, you know, action-packed, pow, 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 shooting up as I thought it was going to be. Now, I knew I had an issue with this Daisy chick, but I might end up liking her. Like, if her and Ghostman get their own book and she just, like, hold it down as the cartel queen... Bitch, please. You know, I'm in love with the boss bitch. And I think she might be that. Ghost man, something is wrong with him. Something is really wrong with him. And um, I don't know how he's going to end, how he's going to fare in book four, but we shall see. So, in this vlog, I have a five star, a four star, and mm, I believe three, two, three stars. But, anywho, thank you all so much for joining me. I have really enjoyed this week with you all. And I'm so happy that I have gotten out of this reading slump because it was really sucking. I miss reading. And now I am back, baby. So, yeah. If you have read any of these books, Be Loves, A Thug Need of Love, Winter Times, Cash, Chaos, and Carnage, and hit us three about Luke Warren Price Jr. Senior. Let me know. If not, the links to all three will be down below. Um, check them out. Let me know what you thought. If you have already read them, let me know what you thought in the comment section down below. If you have not, I'm getting thrown up on. If you have not, say hi, baby. Comment down below and let me know which ones you believe are interesting. And what you are wanting to read out of the stack. Your girl has had, again, a wonderful time. Be on the lookout for my new release vlog as well as my faves of 2023 coming out soon. With that being said, y'all, we are out. Same to see you later, baby biscuit. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, but using my hands right now, but peace, I love, and positive vibes, style. Mwah, Jesus.